Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Infected. All right, Mike is having some serious issues, and I'm not really sure what the deal is. Um, he keeps getting stuck on the... Yeah, see, see what happens here? He gets stuck, and then he'll disappear. And he gets stuck when the log stands are too close to each other, so I've kind of moved them away from each other, but I, I don't know. Maybe I haven't moved them away enough. Uh, he, this is a known bug. Uh, they just did an update that, you know, fixed some things about Mike. But as you can tell, there's still some things that are kind of acting a little funky. So if he disappears, what you want to do is you want to go to his bed and recall Mike. There you go. And he'll get back to work. So just keep an eye on him. You know, make sure he's okay. Uh, like I said, this is a known bug and a developer is looking into it. But yeah, he's got a problem when the log holders are too close to each other. So I've done a lot of organizing. Before we go any farther, though. Yep, he's got food. Before we go any farther, let me talk about my organizing. Okay, so check it out. I'm going to go through each box. And these these boxes are all empty. And then we've got sand and glass. We've got bark. We've got plant fibers and stuff like that. Arrows, crafting materials, the big box. I'll probably do something different with the big box because, um, well, I don't know. I mean, it's all fitting in there. But if, I'm assuming that I'm not going to have all this stuff fitting in there eventually. Uh, we've got healing items. All right, up here, I have gone ahead and made a bunch more of these containers this is one two three four five ten iron ingot shells will probably be enough that we've got one two three four five ten will be ten aluminum ingot shells and then i'm gonna have what will be eight copper shells the eight copper shells is a little light but i didn't want to put any copper shells in front of the window and then over here i have one two three four that'll be eight shelvings for lead and we've got so far six shelvings for i'm sorry Eight shelvings for cobalt and six shelvings for lead. And we'll kind of just go by, you know, go by year and see how things go with that. Over here, um, I have moved all my crafting stations into the forge smeltery room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've got all this stuff in here, which is awesome. Nothing, I don't think anything needs to be repaired. Let me take a look. Yeah, we're good. Um, I went ahead and put my one stone grinder in here. There's going to be at least sto three stone grinders in here, at least, when all said and done. But for now, one will do. And we want to keep this thing going because I got to really get major iron ingots. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of mash that real good. All right. That looks that looks nice. It's not full. We got iron fragments in here. Iron fragments there. Back here, we've got lead. Lead. Iron. Or, these all, all ore, obviously. Coal. Sand. Nothing in there yet. Sand. Nothing in there yet. I got to start saving the sand. And then over here, we just have kind of random stuff. Uh, mostly stuff that has to be cooked. And all my iron fragment boxes are going to go... Actually, you know what? It's so close. I could just leave them right here. Because I grabbed the stuff out of there. And that's where the iron fragments go. And that brings you guys... Uh, yep. See, he's stuck again. So is it because it's too close to the wall? That's what I'm wondering. All right. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on him. I mean, like I said, the developer knows about this. It's just something he's going to have to fix. Um, I'm thinking it's because they're too close to the wall. So let's bring this out a little bit. Um, we can't move that one, unfortunately. Let's take that out, put that in there. Move this over here. And just kind of bring these away from the wall and kind of just play with the game and see how it goes. Um, I do want to make the water house. And I also need to make the... If you're going to make the water house, you want to make food. You want to make the sink. Now, where do I want to put the sink? I'll put it in here. Actually, I should just leave it right here, honestly. We'll leave it right here for now. I think it's got to go on the foundation. Is there any reason it can't be outside? Hey, you probably don't want to sink outside. You know what? I'll just put it right here. We can always move, move it later if we want. Okay. So the water house is going to be super duper expensive. Um, in order for the water house to work, we're also going to want to have... Um, we're going to want a control panel out here. Because what will happen is... The water house will be out here. The water house takes like 100, 150 power. What I'll do is I'll turn everything else off, hit the water house, get my water, turn the water house back off, turn everything else on. So that way I don't have to actually have all the power. Uh, we'll just put this in here as well. well no, it's got to be close to the water house because it's got to be powering the water house. Uh, I guess I could put it right there. Eh, good enough for now. All right, so we are going to need... What's going to be the hardest thing to get? Well, definitely the eight electrical parts. Honestly, I think I have what I need for them, though. Go to the big box. Split one. Take that. And then we're going to need eight copper. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight, but that was that was cobalt, but yeah, we're gonna need eight copper as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would also like to go check my mineral extractors today. And I have been getting a decent amount of spoiled food. So I might not need that oil pump as, as soon as I thought. Uh, the thing is, I wanted the oil pump because, you know, the spoiled food is hard to get. Uh, you know, I could, instead of using spoiled food to run the extractors, I could always use oil. But that's also something I, I might not want to use a lot of. So I wanted to make the oil pump. The problem with the oil pump is it's going to be super duper expensive. So we'll see about that. Um, I might be making the oil pump today. I might not. I'm just going to have to kind of go in and see. It's not just the oil pump that I need. I'm going to need 150 power worth of wind turbines as well. So that's no small task. That's not what I'm supposed to do. It's going to be the advanced workbench, right? All right, let's go ahead and grab the... Where is it? Right here. We're going to grab this bad mamma jamma. The upgrade... Is it the upgrade tool or the repair tool? Uh, that lets you use to upgrade connect... Uh, yeah, building wires. That's what I want. Okay. And then we're going to grab the big box and grab some wires out of that. And we are going to hook up the water house. So this goes to here. That goes to there. All right, and the water house, uh, well, it's not called the water house yet. Uh, let's just water, water. There we go. All right, so we could turn off one of the other two and get some water if we want to. As a matter of fact, let's just do that right now. We're not turning off the oil extractor. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then once the water house is on, we can use the sink. Drink and fill. No more freaking... Fireplaces for us, or not fireplace, but campfires. Um, am I still connected to that thing? That was weird. Anyway, uh, now we turn the water house off and we turn the stone grinder back on. Beautiful. All right, so here's the deal, guys. In order to make this thing, I am the one thing that's going to hold me back more than anything. Actually, the the thing that's going to hold me back is the electrical parts. I uh, I need fifteen. 15 oil for 5 plastic, and I'm going to need 20 plastic for the electrical parts, as well as some other things, but that the plastic's what's going to hold me back the most. So that's going to be uh, 60 uh, sixty oil I'm going to need. I already have almost, I have about half of that, and I just did the math. In order for me to wait for the oil extractor, it is extractor, right? Yeah, the oil extractor. In order for me to wait for this to get the amount of oil I need, it's going to be about two and a half hours of real lifetime. You know what? I'm going to put in the time. I've got some time today, and I'm going to do it. That's kind of crazy. I've already been recording for a couple hours. I, you know, usually don't need four hours to record a video, but, you know, here we are. I've got some stuff that I can fill in time, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. And I'm also going to do some looting, all right? Because if I could loot, there's two things I can do to make this go faster. I could loot, or I can make another oil extractor. Let's see what we need for the oil extractor. Um, yeah, the aluminum is what's going to kill me. Yeah, plus the screw, the uh, the steel is gonna hurt as well. I'm, I'm hoping I can loot some plastic and some uh, electrical parts. I don't know if lo loot should have respawned, like in pretty much every place I've ever been. So I could do a lot of looting, or I can make another oil extractor. I'm gonna actually um, hold off in the other oil extractor because I want that aluminum to make more wind turbines. So this truck has enough gas in it for one more trip. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get in the truck. And I'm going to hit all my extractors, and I'm going to retire the truck until I can make the gas making, the oil distiller, I think it's called. Now, the oil distiller is right here. Um, yeah, oil distiller. Now, this thing's great, right? Three plastic. I, I can't justify putting the plastic into this thing right now. I need it for the, I need it for the oil pump. The oil pump is my number one concern. So, I should have enough, I should have enough juice to get around. Um, I don't have enough juice, though. Um, I did make some biofuel, but I don't have enough juice to power the extractors after this run. So what's going to happen is I'm going to make a round trip, and then that's it. I will not get any more materials until that oil pump is done. But um, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Get in. Turn it on. Yeah. This thing might even get stuck out there, but I'm, I'm willing to take the chance. So let me go hit all of my extractors, and then, you know, hopefully... I mean, I don't have a lot of materials, um, but the you know I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get oil from extractors, so that's gonna be a problem. But we'll make it happen today, guys. I'll put on a TV show. I'll put on some videos or something. We're getting that oil pump today, come hell or high water. 
So I went ahead and hit these extractors, and then I hit these extractors, and I thought, you know, I'm pretty close to this place. Why don't we just come up here and check it out? I hit, like, one house and got some plastic already, so every plastic I get, you know, that's, like, uh, it's pretty dope. I think there's, like, five oil not needed. There we go, another plastic. If I can find plastic or electrical parts, I think each one is five oil not needed, which takes five minutes off the time. So we've already taken ten minutes off the time. All right. Yeah, let's go through. I'm not going to show you a lot of this because it's see, crap you've seen before. But I will show you a little bit. Um, uh, I will take wires. I'm going to be very careful what I take here, though, because I don't really care. Oh, another plastic. So another five minutes off. Beautiful. Mechanical part. So what do I need? I need 20 total plastic. And I've already gotten three. I've got one at home. I've got four already. I've got enough. Um, I think I've got enough uh, oil for another five. So I've got nine. You know, uh, I might as well eat that egg. Why not? If I found a freaking egg in an attic, just go ahead and eat it, man. What's the problem? So I'm going to keep it 100% with you guys. I think I have enough of what I need now. Uh, I don't know if he upped the drop rate or if I got incredibly lucky, but walking out of that town, I, I ended up walking out with five electrical parts and six plastic. That's insane. So um, what I did was I came down here. I already hit these two extractor areas. Not insane in a bad way. I mean, it's insane in a good way. Not like it needs to be nerfed. So um, anyway, I hit these extractors here. And then I came over here. I, I parked my truck at the extractors in the uh, copper mine. Got all the copper out of there. And this town is really close. So I figured, eh, let's come over here and hit this town too. We're on a roll, right? So let's, let's do this. All righty. I am taking screws. I am taking nails. I'm not taking that crap. Uh, I'm not taking any kind of seeds. I've got so you don't even need seeds anymore because when your guy like like well, I guess you need some seeds, but when your guy like picks watermelons or um or the uh, the the pumpkins, he he replants them without the seeds, and then he puts them in the box. And when you take them out of the box and cut them up, you also get the seeds. So it's a way to double the seeds. Um, so I guess not all seeds are like you can just get as many as you want, but. I've got plenty of seeds. Not really, not really a big deal. I am taking cans for canned food. All right, let's go upstairs. This is a crappy upstairs. Uh, I'm still taking spoiled food as well, because uh, there's one one of my machines. You can't you can't run one of my machines with the oil pump, um, and that is the the clay extractor. <laughs> you scared that crap out of me for some reason. I don't know why, but that just that that was scary. Um, <laughs> that was scary. I'm so scared. Uh, yeah. The, the clay extractor, you need either, like, you have to take out the actual cans of oil, or you have to, um, or you have to put in, uh, biofuel. So I'm gonna be saving the biofuel for that, because I definitely do not want to be using oil on that, because I'm gonna need oil for plastic. You can use so much plastic in this game, it's not even funny. So, I think my last game I had about, what, four or six? Oil, uh, oil extractors, I think, something like that. Yeah, I had a lot. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so we got all of that cobalt, all of that beautiful, beautiful aluminum, aluminum stone, copper stone, 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 and this is what we got from looting. I'm just going to take the things I care most about uh, in the moment. There we go. All right, and let's see where the rest of our stuff is. I don't know where I put it. Um, is it, is it. Yeah, it's all in my hands. Okay, so the the next the town I was in, you know, at the end of the last cut, did not give me as many materials. But still, this whole trip gave me 16 of the 20 stuff I need. I mean, that's insane. That's insane. I can't believe how lucky I got. So what we got to do now is we have to make another four plastic. All right, well, I have what I need for the plastic. All right, we just need some bark. We just need, um, f 25 bark? Yeah, 25 bark. So we go to our bark box. Sounds like somewhere you keep a dog, right? All right, and split in half. We just need 25. I'll do some organizing off camera. I, I made this guy not chop down trees anymore because he's just bugged as hell. And the thing is, when he gets bugged, he gets caught up on these, uh... On these log stands, and then he doesn't do the farming. So I've just got him farming at this point, and hopefully next time I play, he'll be fixed because uh, I've gotten rely. I'm starting to rely on this guy, you know. So it's like, well, just go chop down the trees. Yeah, I can, but come on, man. Like Mike, you're, you've spoiled me. It's it's obviously Mike's fault. It's not my fault. 
um, nothing's my fault. <laughs> it's like I always tell my wife, nothing's ever been or will ever be my fault. All right, chemistry station. And we'll split in half, split in half. That's 15, 25. We've got the plastic. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this thing down. We're, we're making this thing today. I just don't know where I want to put it. Um, I guess I can put it right here for now. I can always move it later. It's not like you can't move it. I love, by the way, if you aren't, a lot, I get, I get developers asking me a lot. I'm making an early access game. You know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? The number one thing you need to do for an early access game right off the bat is make it so we, everything is movable. Just make it so everything is movable because my goodness, like it's such an incredible thing to be able to move stuff around. All right, there we go. And we will just dump those in there. And uh, what do we need? What do I need for this? I think I need copper. Uh, yeah, copper. Is that gonna be enough? I need another fourteen copper. Ten. That's not gonna be enough. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to cook up some. Some. We're gonna have to cook up some more people. I knew we were gonna have to, but so well, no buts. I knew we were gonna have to. All right. Do we have any copper in here? No copper. No copper. No copper. That's not copper. All right, so what we're gonna do is we gotta find an empty box. Man, there's no empty boxes. Oh, this, thing, this one can be empty. You could be my empty box. Also, where's the iron ore? We're gonna need 20 iron ore. Um, so I'm five short, but that's okay because I have three extractors uh, hunting for that stuff. So I will get it eventually. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in here. All right, go out here and get some copper. This is not the most efficient base I've ever made because of the way I gotta like move stuff around, but you know, I don't wanna make the same base all the time. All right, where is that copper? There it is. All right, so this will be plenty of copper for this setup. I, you don't need a lot of copper unless you're gonna be doing, um, I'm not sure if it's the, if it's the, the batteries or if it's the solar panels, but one of those two, Takes a lot of copper, and I don't remember which one it is. All right, so we're going to take a few of these as well, because why not? There we go. Dump all that stuff in there, and let's bring this back in, and let's start cooking up some copper. All right, let's see how much iron ore we're getting from these things. I haven't checked them in a couple days. Maybe a day. Yeah, three in that. Four in this one. Yeah, this ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. The thing is, I'm not getting a ton of stone. Uh, what I what I'm doing right now with having these set to get the ore instead of the stone, it's not sustainable. Uh, as far as me cooking up, like putting the stone in the stone grinder, grinding up the you know into the iron fragments, cooking the iron fragments, it's not sustainable. But I've got such a backload of stone and only one stone grinder, so it's um it's definitely doable, definitely doable. So. We've got all the iron. We're, now we got all the iron we're going to need for the steel. So the steel is taken care of. At this point, I think it's just about the iron for the most part. So I'm going to take that. Let me go ahead and put all these out so we're not wasting fuel. And we're going to need copper, cobalt, and... Oh, that's right here. Copper, cobalt, and... Um, Copper, sorry, carp, copper, cobalt, and plastic. God damn it, Cage. All right, so we barely have any room there. That's not going to work. If I put this back up here, that should be okay. All right, and boom, 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 and boom. Awesome. Very, very cool. So um, what else does this thing need? Probably a lot of iron, a lot of steel. You know what? Why don't we grab the steel we already have? I think it's right here. And then I'm going to grab whatever iron I can carry. And then we're going to go over there and just pump as much stuff into this place as possible. And then it's, it's I think, like I said, I think it's going to be all about iron at this point. The steel's already spoken for. I got the steel. It's done. It's just the um, uh, mechanical parts. Should, no, that's iron. Yeah. So the steel's taken care of. It's already done. It's um, all about iron and mechanical parts. I mean, basically, I'm going to do about 70 iron. So, and, you know, it's not going to be as uh, as bad as you think. It really isn't. I mean... Let's just go ahead and move this over here. And then we're going to take this. And this. And this. And those things are just loaded with iron fragments. We're going to take these out. So the thing that makes this place not really overly efficient is... Yeah, I figured I'd put him on log duty and see if I could... I don't know, make him work. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. It was worth a try. 
The thing that makes this inefficient is I gotta, I gotta come over here to bring the... To bring the, um... Wait, that is cobalt. Yeah, I was hitting the wrong button. I gotta bring this stuff over here to put in the ingot shells, which is fine. You know, it's a little bit longer to walk around. But like I said, I want to make new buildings. I don't, I don't want to put the forges in the same place as my ingot shelves. Because I did that last season, you know? Ain't nobody need to see that again. Alright, and then we just take care of this. And uh, I think um, one set of this is 30 iron. So we're going to need two full, you know, go-arounds. Go-arounds, is that what you want to call it? I don't know. We're going to, yeah, I'll call it go-arounds. That seems pretty cool. Three full go-arounds. As a matter of fact, I think we have enough iron fragments right now. Because we just, we cleared out half of our bag. And that's 30. So I'm pretty sure we pretty much have about the amount of iron we're going to have now. And while these are doing their thing, and I didn't even take it all, yeah, we've got enough. Easily. So I didn't even take it all out. Wow. Yeah, man, we really, uh, we really kicked ass today. I, I thought, oh, man, this is going to be so tough. It, it, I mean, you know, I put some time in. It wasn't easy, but I got it done. It wasn't as bad as I thought. That is freaking awesome. While that's doing its thing, we'll grab ten of these. No, that goes right there. There we go. And we'll grab ten of these. I'm sorry, twenty. Twenty. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, twenty. Yeah, that's twenty. That's twenty of each. And we're going to tiptoe over to the... <laughs> to the anvil. And we're going to make ourselves some steel. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this bad boy. There we go. And I forgot that we need to be able to power it. <laughs> of course I did. That's okay. We should have what we need for it. Uh, we need one of these. And... I'll go right there. Is that lined up? And yeah, it's probably pretty good. I can always pick it up again if uh, it's not lined up properly. Because this game is awesome. And yeah, I'll bet you... I don't think it's lined up properly. That's okay. I will deal with it later. Alright, iron, copper, cobalt, and screws. Iron, copper, cobalt, and screws. Iron, copper, cobalt, and screws. Alright, let's come in here. I'm going to let these just burn out because they're almost, they're almost empty anyway. Iron, copper, cobalt, and screws. So that should be all in the storehouse. I will put this stuff away first. I thought we were going to get to, uh, to wind turbines today. We might not. We'll see. Damn it, iron, copper, cobalt, and screws. But I don't know how many. Alright, whatever. Let's take a bunch. I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. And we're also going to need some wires. We'll build it first, then we'll get the wires up. And once this thing once this thing goes, in case you guys don't know, my four aluminum extractors, my three cobalt extractors, my two copper extractors, and my two iron extractors over here will all be powered. Permanently, as long as this thing's running. Now we don't have the power to run this and our other stuff as well, so that's gonna that's gonna cause issues. But uh, as soon as I'm done here, my next my next uh, plan of action is to get myself some more wind turbines. Twenty each. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. Yeah, we're gonna have to get up eight more wind turbines. Oh boy, that is going to be it's gonna be a tall order. But once we get those up, then we're, you know. We're, we're golden. We're golden, bro. Stay golden, pony boy. Do you have any screws? Yes, we do. And what was the other thing I needed? Oh, yeah, the wire. Alright. And I have this thing with me, so let's go ahead and hook this up. Alright, so finish that. Finish that. Oil. Oil. Pump. Alright, and then we hook this up to this, this up to this, alright, and then we turn off the stone grinder and the oil extractor, and then we turn on the oil pump. And we still have 50 left. So, what are these? These are 100, right? So, if I get another uh, three wind turbines down, I can run the oil pump and then one of these two things at a time, which isn't terrible. That's not terrible at all. So, that, that thing's going to be awesome. Love it. All right, let's see what we're gonna need for the wind turbines. If it's if it's something I can do right now, I'll do it right now. If it's not something I can do right now, no, I won't. 
Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the oil pump, turn on the water thingy. Come in here. Alright, beautiful. Take a drink. By the way, Mike is working just fine now. Um, he won't do the... He can't do any logging right now, but um, he's perfect when it comes to dealing with the the farm stuff. So, alright, there we go. So let's get up uh, three more wind turbines. I should have everything I need for these. Like, right now, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, one, two... Okay, so three. Uh, 30 aluminum. Maybe not 30, because I don't have... I don't need... Yeah, 25 aluminum. Uh, I think I have that. I, if, if I don't have it, like, already... Actually, I think... Isn't one of those 20? Yeah, I got that. So that's 20. But I can't move now. <laughs> yeah, alright, let's make these next two, and then we can, uh... Oh, no, we need three, right? That's okay. Let's make these three uh, wind turbines, and then we'll be able to power the oil pump and one of our other two items, which is great. I didn't even think I'd get this much done today. Just cooked up a batch of lead, and this should be everything we need. So let's put these in there. Boom. 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 And almost boom there. Do I have the 10? You know what? I might as well make it. If I have the if I have the 10 aluminum, I might as well put it in there. And I think I do. Yeah. Got a lot of aluminum. But I need it, you know? You think you have a lot of aluminum, but you really don't. Because it goes quick. The lead's actually going quick too. I'm gonna have to make a lot more trips to the uh to the old mine, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Alright, let's come up here and finish this one. Beautiful. Alright, let's see. I, I kind of lost track of what I got. I don't think I have enough to run everything, but I'm getting close to being able to have enough to run everything. All right, it's over here. <laughs> I'm getting used to where stuff is because I've been moving stuff around so much. So we're looking at this right here. Okay, so we're getting, um... Oh, no, we don't. We're 50 away. So what do I want, the stone grinder or the oil extractor? Honestly, I think the... That's a tough call, actually. Damn. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do the oil extractor. I, gotta, I think I got enough iron for everything. Wait a minute. Power out. Oh, I do have enough for both. No, I don't. Damn it. Got some power stored, but that's not going to work. Okay. So the oil extractor. Power available is 30. Okay. So we need another 70. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80. So yeah, we still need four more wind turbines. So we wouldn't have been able to complete that today. But we did get a lot done today. We can run the oil pump, which is the major thing. And then one of these two. Oil extractor will be good. Because the thing is, I need iron more than oil. But this oil extractor is hella slow. This thing is hella freaking slow, let me tell you. So I will keep that running for now, and I'll go back and forth. Uh, next episode is going to be all about getting the wind turbines up to run all of our machines. And then it will it might possibly be a building video, I'm not really sure. Everything's running really smoothly here, which is awesome. One thing I do have to do, I have to get those solar panels or uh, wind turbines done. And I also need to build myself... This bad boy, because I am out of gas. So, shouldn't really be that much of a problem, though. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.